happy Wednesday, Wealth Wednesday. So excited to have you here, Chelsea. To kick it off, I'd love to get a little bit about you and you know how and why you got into the space of angel investing. Yeah, thanks for having me. Really excited to be here. I started this journey a couple of years ago. I was working in the startup space and I started listening to podcasts after I got home from work and specifically Crossing Borders with Nathan Lustig is about investing in Latin America, a region that I'm really passionate about. And I started to hear all these stories about all these founders that were building all these awesome companies. They were creating new markets. You know, there was a, so, so much opportunity in Latin America with fintech and serving underserved communities. And I just got really excited about all of the impact that was happening in this ecosystem. And then in 2018, my father passed away and he was a real estate investor. And I just knew that while real estate is important and going to maintain a portion of my portfolio that I was really passionate about startups. And I had heard about angel investing, just doing some micro VC lending at first and building it from there and investing in early stage companies that I was passionate about. So what role do you see yourself playing in this space? For me, I've always thought of wealth, meaning responsibility. And I think as someone who at 30 years old inherited wealth, I really felt like I had to be a millennial advocate for this new wave of generations whose baby boomer parents were passing away and passing on wealth. We're about to have the largest wealth transfer of all time, that we needed to be thinking about what that responsibility meant for us and making impactful investments with our newfound wealth moving forward. And so I think that for me, I'm passionate about finances. I think there's a lot of opportunity for young millennial people to really figure out what this world needs. I find myself in the space being Mm. an advocate. I really love that. I know we've talked about this kind of one-on-one the idea that what do you think is the most exciting thing you've learned in this journey that you would want others to know? I think the alternative asset classes that are becoming available to the more general population, be it accredited investors or not, is really exciting. And it's most exciting for me who works in the energy and water technology space that there are ways that retail investors can participate in this green, more equitable economy economy now and find returns that are competitive or at least better than their bank accounts, for example. So just the access to different alternatives right now in terms of debt and equity, I think is really exciting and a space that we should all be watching very closely in terms of diversification. One alternative asset platform that I I personally invest on is called Raise Green. They have different company. They're kind of a crowdfunding platform, but they have different debt options on there. One of mine invests in energy efficiency projects. And I think the note is for three to five years. There's a couple of different timeframes, but every quarter I get paid a dividend based on that note. So that's really exciting. I also do a lot of private lending on my own, which is much riskier, but there are other more fintech solutions now that do similar things like Yield Street, I think is only for credit investors, but there's a lot of interesting platforms out there that enable you to connect with companies or private individuals that are looking for your money and will pay you interest in return. Is there a person or company that inspires you in the space of angel investing and why? Yeah, so I'm part of Pipeline Angels, a angel group, but also an education company. Company. Their mission is to quote unquote change the face of angel investing. And they work really hard to make angel investing a more diverse space. For example, it's all women and non binary femmes. Their training is to become angel investors with the intent of investing in women and non binary femme companies. And the thing that makes them so unique is that they are super mission and values aligned in such that the diversity inclusion component of Pipeline Angels, besides just the faces of the people that are investing, but also 
also the way you think about investing in a companies and doing and a values and mission alignment when you're thinking about the companies you're going to invest in and the way that they structure their education program. You have a boot camp at the beginning of the program. And there's a lot of diversity and inclusion training within that program. And it's really interconnected. And I think that that is really important. And it's all the way from that, the people investing, but also including inclusivity in the investment process. So they're strong advocates of more micro VC lending, which I think is a great strategy, having smaller check sizes, which enables us to either A, participate more or B, participate in more companies. So instead of having a $25,000 check to one company, maybe you could have five $5,000 checks to five companies. And so just offering different strategies and then also just encouraging more diversity and inclusion within the investor space, training women and non-binary femmes to do that, being at pitch days, that's just all women or non-binary femmes at the table, pitching to female investors is such a rewarding experience a lot of times to entrepreneurs especially Mm -hmm. female and non-binary femme entrepreneurs who don't feel like they get listened to as much or products and services that have been needed in the market for so long, but just haven't had the attention because the investors didn't understand or look like the people pitching in front of them. So I think Mm -hmm. that's, that's super rewarding. And what advice would you give to somebody getting started? I would say educate yourself, find the programs that are out there that speak to you. I personally did Pipeline Angels we just talked about. I did Going VC, which is a professional development program for people who want to get into the venture capital space. And then there's a lot more popping up every day now. This I did mine like two years ago, so it's become a lot more accessible. So just find those programs. And then if you're interested in getting into angel investing or VC, for example, you just have to start networking. Talk to people who you know might do that or ask people you know if they can connect you with people. I I used to go to coffee shops with someone that a friend of a friend who was an angel investor here in Seattle, my age, I used to just go to coffee with him once a week and he would sit down and kind of tell me what angel investing was and start talking about strategies. And you just kind of build your building blocks from there. Eve is a space that's unique because there's so many women that have different perspectives. Either they have been investors themselves, they can give you deal flow, but it's a community where you can come in and you can really be honest about what you don't know. There's plenty of things that we all don't know. And especially with investing, you're sort of learning along the way. You're learning that things don't work after they didn't work. And so it's a space that enables you to just say, I don't know the answer to this. And does anyone else know the answer? Oh, none of us know the answer to this. Let's just talk about it and see if we can come up with a solution or how we can talk about it. Because I think in the investing world, that can be intimidating that, oh, I don't know. I don't know those things. I haven't been around that long. I don't know what I'm doing. But the truth is, it's not a science. No one knows what they're doing. People just learn how to do it along the way. Is there anything else you want to share? Yeah, I I write the blog, which started as an estate planning guide for my friends and family. I mean, it's kind of just turned into my journey as an impact investor. The site is accreditedovernight.com. Besides that, I think just have the confidence that you don't know what you are going to do now, but that that's okay. And there are plenty of people out there that can help you along the way. And it's always good just to send someone a note and ask them if they can give you 10 minutes of their time. Thank you so much, Chelsea. Appreciate you sharing this journey of really going from, you know, zero to hundred really on angel investing. And I'm so excited to track you as an investor and what you're you know, focusing on personally and beyond. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.